Hi there. Thank you for stopping by to share with Julie today. I hope you're having a fantabulous day today. In this video, I am looking at bone health. Yes, bones and some herbs that can help to strengthen the bones. So these herbs that I will list, they will help if you've got um, sprains, um, fractured bones, broken bones, brittle bones, you know, and or generally just want to improve the health of your bones. Too often I see people, especially, you know, elderly people, elderly women in particular, um, help elderly men sometimes, but it's mostly women um, that suffer from issues um, to do with uh, osteoporosis and these the symptoms that manifest when one gets older you know where um, you know people just can't stand tall they're all bent and you know the bones are all bent um, out of shape um, these things start um, you know it starts when we're younger it starts when we're younger and it, it yes as we get older we have um, um, issues to deal with because um, you know bone integrity we might lose bone integrity yes as we get older but but we that does not have to be the reality in terms of having um, bones um, so really badly damaged that one cannot stand straight and one is all bent um, we can do things or abstain from doing some things that will affect bone health so here are some herbs that you find um, to be extremely useful um, in terms of healing the bones whether it's broken bones fractured bones or just um, strengthening bone and improving bone in um, um, integrity. Um, these include our sea um, weeds such as our our bladder rock, sea moss, you know, and kelp. These can be um, really um, these are really great, just flat out um, because of the level of nutrient that um, they contain. Of course. Or nettle that is a stinging nettle um, stinging nettle is also rich in calcium it's rich in iron also um, we've got arnica oat straw dandelion alfalfa red raspberry leaves or culinary herbs yes or culinary herbs such as our basil or basil and or marjoram thyme these are rich in calcium we also have to uh, try to avoid doing things that are antagonistic to calcium um, you know anything that would prevent um, proper absorption of calcium or will cause the body to leach calcium and you know some of the food choices we make and some of our lifestyle lifestyle choices we make does affect the absorption of calcium and some of the things I'll just list a few things that does affect um, that can be antagonistic to calcium and the first is um, food that contain contain oxalate um, oxalate acid um, is found in certain greens such as um, chards um, spinach and also um, beet greens and rhubarb um, they have a substance that is called oxalic acid and so it's best not to eat too many of those kind of greens greens in general are good your dark leafy greens are extremely important that's where you'll get a lot of um, calcium but the ones that are high that are high in oxalic acid you'll just need to eat less of those unfermented soil where it concerns soy burgers and soy beverages and tofu um, it's best to avoid the fluoride in water and toothpaste um, you know 
that one is i know it's a difficult for some people but try to drink you know spring water or even still water even if you want to do other activities with regular water because you know of expenses or whatever it is but try to cut not to consume the water from the tap especially if you're aware um, living in a country where the water is you know um, there's a lot of fluoride in the water so I have to be mindful of, of that and also get fl get fluoride free toothpaste fluoride free free toothpaste you can make your own toothpaste you know you can make your own toothpaste even using a combination of coconut oil and um, um, baking soda and there, there's several different recipes that you could use that could really be um, good for your, your, your gum health and your teeth um, in general uh, without the fluoride, without the negative effects of certain fluoride. steroid medications such as corticosteroids, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, medications like these you know hopefully you can avoid and try to avoid stay away from medications such as these no good for calcium and your body or your bones also phosphorus rich foods you know the caffeinated stuff caffeinate these caffeinated these sodas um the highly processed foods and you know some of these things the, the the white flour stay away from these foods as much as possible also smoking um you know drinking a lot of alcohol you know some people really overdo it with the alcohol so be mindful of that also. also excess protein excess protein is antagonistic to calcium it can cause the body to um, leach calcium, you know, through the urine. So um, all the protein crazy folks out there, you know, be mindful of that. Supplements and calcium. Oftentimes, you know, I see um, people buying all um, all these supplements, um, saying okay, they want to um, improve bone health and they're buying these these um, supplements and many of these supplements are not helping they don't help because many are the synthetic form of um, the mineral and therefore um, they will not help some fruits that are also good sources of calcium include um, your oranges and tangerines um, your dates, um, dried figs, dried prunes. Um, these are some, some good sources of calcium also. Please bear in mind that it's not just calcium. We need to have good nutrients in the body. We need to have, um, you know, diet that are, um, you know, rich in nutrients, not just calcium. You know, we need the magnesium, the potassium, the sodium, not the one that you buy at the shop, <laughs> the one that naturally occurs in the food. So, you know, these are min all of these minerals we um, need in the body. And one, when we take it from the food, such as the herbs I mentioned and some of the fruits that I mentioned, then the body gets the nutrients in a balanced way you, you know and all of this lead to um, a good healthy um, skeletal structure by midweek I will probably have an article on my blog about bones because I've um, actually started um, putting together um, some things and including some possible um, um, herbal combinations you could use to strengthen the bones and also a little bit more information on making poultices for example um, where you might have to help with fractures or sprains and so forth so you can look out for that and remember get those nutrients in as long as you eat um, 
leafy greens, your dark leafy greens, you need a you need those in your diet. You need a diet that is rich in whole foods, not refined foods. Stay away from the refined foods. You need your vegetables and your fruits, especially. Um, you know, you could put some nuts and seeds in there and also some whole grains in there, but you know the processed foods you know stay away i from hope those. you found this useful subscribe to my channel like and share my videos don't forget be the change you'd like to see in this world have a fantabulous day today Ta -ta.